Hey guys, welcome to our video. Today we're going to talk about New York City, the city we all live in. As you might know, your hometown is a global city that has a significant impact economically, culturally, and socially on our world. This city is everything all at once, a center of world business as an important space for learning with awesome museums and some of the best colleges in the country. It is also a fashion capital and a diplomatic headquarter at the same time. Buckle up for this adventure. It's going to be a fun ride. Hard power is how a country influences other countries by using their military or economic power. Washington, D.C. is the U.S.'s capital of hard power. It is where you find all our government and all our generals. Because New York City is so close to this political center, it plays an important role in the use of our nation's military. In NYC, New York City, we can also find the UN headquarters, an organization that maintains peace and security across the world. Diplomacy is an important part of hard power, and NYC is the world capital of diplomacy with more than 194 embassies. Soft power is taking a persuasive approach to international relations. Rather than sending your army into another country, soft power lets you conquer through economic or cultural influence. An example of a cultural good from France would be baguette, cheese, or wine. Similarly, New York culture has an enormous international importance. The skyline of our city is recognized by the world over. Hundreds of movies and TV shows take place in New York, from Friends and Broad City to Breakfast at Tiffany's and Taxi Driver. You talking to me? There are also a lot of great museums in New York City. The Met, the Met, for instance, welcomes more than 6 million visitors annually. Travel through time at the Natural History Museum, from hungry T-Rex to knights in shining armor, that will give you goosebumps. The attractivity of New York City has led it to be a magnet of tourism, one of the new seven wonders of the world that everyone must visit at least once in their lives. In 2015, about 60 million tourists visited the world-renowned city, making it the fifth most visited city in the world. This heavy flow of tourists helps the city a great deal. More than $61.1 billion in economic activity were created in 2015, and these numbers are expected to grow. However, New York City is not only known for selling mini statues of liberty, it is also an international business and finance center. At the heart of New York City's financial district, the NYSE New York Stock Exchange is by far the world's largest stock exchange. Every day, over $160 billion in stocks and bonds are traded right here. If we were to add up the worth of each stock from every company that trades here, we would have $19.3 trillion. Many multinational companies also have their head offices in New York City due to its connectivity with the rest of the world and its proximity to other major financial enterprises. The Flatiron District of New York City has come to be nicknamed as Silicon Alley, a reference to Silicon Valley, a part of California that attracts hundreds of newly established businesses and is an innovative space for technology. The New World Trade Center in New York's re-emerging financial district offers perfect grounds for startups to grow and strive. New York City is perfect for these young companies because they're so close to bigger, more established companies and have easy access to international markets. New York is also home to many great colleges. Most important of all are Columbia and NYU. Although these colleges are known across the country, they also attract students from abroad, about 10,000 students each. New York University has opened up affiliates throughout the world, from Abu Dhabi to Shanghai, further contributing to its and New York's prominence overseas. These schools are also home to many prominent professors, Joseph Stiglitz, for example, is a Columbia professor of economics, but was also an aide to Nicolas Sarkozy from 2007 to 2012. Even though New York isn't as famous for fashion as Paris, it still is crowded with prominent fashion districts, such as Soho. Brooklyn is known for creating the hipster trend that now is popular all over the world. This cosmopolitan city's population is composed of 40% individuals of immigrant origins. This diverse cultural diaspora is a key component to the city's emblem. New York is known as the melting pot of the world. In addition, in 2015, around 60 million people have visited the global city, which is around seven times more than its current population. 
However, in the last 10 years, NYC's booming industry has been slowed down by industrial deconcentration. Industrial deconcentration is a thing that happens when big companies move their factories out of cities centers to go look for better conditions of production elsewhere. And New York City companies have migrated for two main reasons. First, the city began raising rents in industrial sectors of town. The goal of this policy was to turn New York City more towards the tertiary sector of the economy. The tertiary sector of the economy is made up mainly of shops, restaurants, and transportation. At the same time, industry was and has been driven out by lack of skilled labor in the city and the lack of space to expand or develop. As we have seen, New York City is a global city that excels in many fields. It is a city built on immigrants who came to this country with only a couple of dollars in their pockets. It represents the American dream for the richest and the poorest alike. New York City is a leader in the globalized world and a hub with multiple functions around the globe.